obviously a 2-0 win today and your first start for MK Dons. Let's talk about the win first. How important was that? Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like we needed that because we feel like we've been playing really good football and not getting the results. But we've set the standard now, so we need to just build on it and keep improving. Your first goal for MK Dons. We were choking it. It's two years in the making. How delighted are you to get on the score sheet? Delighted. Delighted. Um, it's, frustra it's frustrating um, being, like, being here, playing so much and not getting on the score sheet and stuff. And I just want to, um, hopefully it's the first of many and I can kick on for the rest of the season. Hopefully help the team and get a few more. How nice is it to have a manager in Russ who puts complete faith in you and gives you your first start in an MK Don shirt as well? Yeah, well that, well that was like the main reason I wanted to come back because Russ, Russ was obviously a player when I was here and we used to sit next to each other in the dressing room and every single day he'd be, he'd be banging on to me about everything, just trying to help me improve. And it meant a lot. So when he, when he um, phoned me and wanted me to come down, it was a, it was a no-brainer really because, as you've seen, he, he's put faith in me and I, and I just want to repay him. You probably grew up watching Cameron Jerome on match of the day. Yeah. What an experienced striker he is and how good was he to play alongside? Well, he scored against Borough in the playoffs and we lost 2-0 so I've told him I'm not happy about that I still don't forgive him but if he gives me a few assists or I set him up a couple of goals I think I'll be happy he's a quality player he's, you can you can see the experience and the, the quality he brings to the side it's it's good to work with someone like that because I can learn from him every single day and just be around him and he teach me little tricks and stuff so I, I just want to learn from him and just keep on improving no one better really to learn from than someone like Cameron. It's not just on the ball where he, where he shines as well. His, his runs off the ball are something that you could really take into your game going forward in your career. Definitely, definitely so. He's he's a quality player. Like you don't you don't play at that level for so long if you haven't got quality. He's, he's ridiculous, and I feel like him coming into this side. He's a leader. We've obviously got other leaders like Richard Keogh and Dean Luton, and there's a few other lads like the leaders and the lead on the pitch and, and the good to have around in the dressing room because they've been there and done it. So it's it's great, it's all um it's all positive. You mentioned Dean Lewis in the air and he's still here two years later since you were last here. How impressive he is a footballer? Eight hundred appearances. That's it's crazy. I was just talking to him there, I was just talking about eight hundred appearances. So he made his debut in two thousand and three and I was born in two thousand. <laughs> so I was three years old when he played his first game. I can't get my head around it. It's Obviously, it's it's impressive. Like you, you can't play that many games as a footballer if you're not if you if you're not like he's doing. He must be doing something right because it's a joke. He's 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 so demanding and with everything we do. When we lose, when we win, he just wants the best for the side and like he wants the best out of everyone. Which is it's positive. It's what you need in a leader. It's what you need and that's that's why he's played so many games at, at a good level. We talk about how much you can learn from someone like Cameron, but. Louis, Louis is one of a kind really, he's still at 35, he still gives his every in every training session, he gives everything on the pitch, he's not dwindled in any performance, that must be amazing for someone like you as a young player. So, he's so consistent, so consistent, every single game he gives gives everything he can for the club and you need, you need players like that that will give everything no matter what and he's, he's a top professional and he's a great player to learn from. When you were here last time, Matty Sorinola was in the under-18s and he probably came up to train every now and then, but how impressive was he tonight? How <laughs> impressive have you been on season? Matty, yeah, Matty was in the 18s. I got on with Matty the first time really well and you can see how much he's improved. It's, it's like He's so young, but the experience he feels like he, play, like he has when he plays is, is ridiculous. Like He obviously he got the penalty for the first goal and then he was involved in the second goal as well, and it's like he, he, he's such a mature head on a, on a young pet, like young shoulders. It's 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 ridiculous. Like I keep saying it's ridiculous, but he's he's a good player. I really like playing with Matty. Let's go back to your goal. Then you scored your first Sky Bet League Two goal last season. Your first Sky Bet League One goal this season. I imagine it's the first of many for you. Well, I'm hoping so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping so. Um, I just want to help the team out any way I can. If I can get goals. If I can get assists, just contribute in any way. I just want to help the team. I feel like, I feel like we've set the standard now, and this is this is so this is the platform to build on. We've set the standard now, and we want to keep it going for as long as possible. Let's finally touch on you coming back to MK Dons. Then, Russ has said you're a different Stephen Walker to the one we saw last time. Do you think it's right? Do you think you're a more mature player? You've had that experience in Skybet League to understand the game a bit more. Yeah, definitely so. Definitely so. Um, yeah, when. when 
See, with Russ, he, he's, he's, he's a, he understands that was like I'm young, and and he's he's like put his arm around me and give me the give me the faith to go and play with confidence. That's why, like when I've got on the ball, I've played with confidence. I've I've tried to um, get on it as much as possible and just help the team. And he's he's the perfect the perfect manager to have there because I, I feel like I could speak to him about anything. Um, yeah, I feel like I've matured. I feel like I feel like I've um, definitely matured in my game and um, just how I am every day. Perfect, Steve.